Hey everybody, how do you know if your symptoms are due to a hormone imbalance? It's Dr. Deb here, and we talk a lot about all these different symptoms that you could have if your hormones are out of whack. But if you have brain fog, or you're feeling frazzled all the time, you're tired, you're not sleeping, you've got night sweats, you're bloated, you got a bunch of symptoms, how can you know whether your symptoms are because of a hormone problem or maybe they're because of something else? Well, the first clue that we have is whether they change with your cycle. So a really common pattern would be that the symptoms get a lot worse that week before your period. And then once your period gets going, you sort of start to feel normal again. The week after your period is usually the good week. That's the week when you're chopping your broccolis and going to the gym and cleaning up your closet. And then the last half of your cycle, things start to go downhill again. So if you very clearly feel different the week before your period, then you do the week after your period, that is a clue that your symptoms are due to your hormones. If you have very irregular cycles or if you're menopausal and you're not having cycles anymore, then we lose that ability to really be able to tell. So the next way that we can do it is we can look at patterns of symptoms. We have a hormone quiz on our website at signaturewellness.org. You can take the quiz. I have quizzes in my book, This Is Not Normal. And you can see whether you have a pattern of hormones that would suggest a hormone imbalance. And then at the end of the day, the way that we really find out is we measure your hormone levels and we look at what's going on. It's, it's a little bit more complicated than that because when you're cycling, we have to do the hormone tests at the right time in your cycle. And if you have irregular cycles, of course, that gets tricky. If you're menopausal, it's a little bit easier, but it's not what we were trained to do in medical school. Your regular doctor may or may not be willing to test your hormones for you, and you might have to find somebody who really specializes in bioidentical hormones to get the proper analysis.